With the new Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door remake coming out this year, I want to go over my top 5 things I want for this remake. Number 1, a Luigi Story DLC. In the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door game, you can find Luigi in Rogue Porn, and when you find him, he'll tell you a story of his travels in the Waffle Kingdom. I'm not sure if they would play out the exact same way he explains them, or if there'd be a couple of twists along the way. Gameplay wise, it probably won't be too different from the main game, but I can imagine there might be some sort of twist. That twist could have some roguelike elements, where after each level up, you can choose between an assortment of three different badges to help aid you in battle. But it would be cool nonetheless to experience these adventures. If a Luigi Story DLC, however, isn't possible, any type of DLC would be welcome. Even if that's uh, new areas to explore, or new bosses to fight, any new content to play in a TTYD remake would be amazing. Number 2. Fast Travel In Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, one of my biggest complaints with the original game is how there is no fast travel. At the end of the final chapter in the game, you end up fighting three bosses back to back, including the final boss. At that point, you're pretty low on items, but without a fast travel feature, you're forced to travel all the way back to the beginning of the final chapter to be able to purchase items at the nearest shop in Rogueport. The other problem is how not every shop has the same items, so if you want to buy a specific item, you have to walk all the way to that specific shop. So hopefully in the remake, they add a fast travel option, where you can go to your map to select any area of the map you want to fast travel to. Number 3, Difficulty Options. I would love if they added a hard mode to the game, and it would be awesome to replay the game in a hard mode. I don't specifically know what the hard mode would look like, probably the basics of where enemies have more HP and do more damage, but it'd be cool if they find other ways to implement a hard mode. Though a problem I don't want this game to have is requiring you to beat the game first before unlocking a hard mode. One of my other favorite Mario RPG games, being Mario & Luigi Dream Team, requires you to beat the game to unlock a hard mode, though I hope the Thousand Year Door doesn't go that route. Number 4, Boss Rematches. In the original game, there is no way to refight any of the bosses you have fought. So in this remake, I hope they give us the opportunity to do some boss rematches. I can imagine the boss terminal being in the casino in Rogueport, where the faster you beat a boss, the better rewards you get. They could even have a boss gauntlet where you have to go through every boss of the game and see how many you can beat in a row before dying. Kind of like the pit of 100 trials. Number 5, a concept art gallery. In Paper Mario The Origami King, you can unlock concept art to look at. I love spending my hours in that game, just unlocking and looking at all the art. Just imagine how cool it would be if you could see old concept art for the original Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door game. From concept art to your partners, to the worlds you explore. There are so many cool and unique characters in TTYD, that I'm sure there are a lot of other unique characters that never made it in the original game. I'm not sure if the concept art would be unlocked throughout the game, or all unlocked from the get-go, but nonetheless, it would just be really cool to see some old concept art. But whatever happens now, I'm just happy we are finally getting a full remake of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. The only question now is that are we finally back to the OG era of Paper Mario, where we start getting games like this again? Or is this just a one and done remake, and in four years we get Sticker Star 2? Sounds like I have another video idea.